Hey guys, today me and Andrew are going to be trying four uh, Andes chips. These are kettle chips. They're all kettle chips. Yeah, yep. all kettle chips. They These are at Big Lots. They were all $2 a piece, so check your local Big, big Lots. I have cheese and basil, sea salt and vinegar, serrano ham, and ground mustard. And this is the order that we've chosen to try them in because we think it would be the easiest to actually discern the flavors. We go mustard first. Probably ain't gonna taste that cheese right. amazing. Hopefully. So we're trying to <laughs> differentiate. We'll see. Uh, there says they're all hand picked, harvested by hand at 13,000 feet. They're made in Peru. Or Peru. The potatoes are from Peru. Peru. I don't know where the actual chips are made. Peru. San Juan. Like the Peru. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So we're gonna try the uh, cheese and basil first. I like the Peru. I like it. But the the name of the website is Inca Crops. I N K A C R O P S dot com. Dude, these are teeny tiny little chips. They're teeny tiny little little chips. Yo, there they are. Look at them. That's a That's baby one. potato. Every day, just baby chips. Got the ever popular fold over. Okay. Right off the beat, there's basil. Mm -hmm. Lots of basil. Ultimately, that's all I really taste. It's all basil. Yeah, I really don't. I think they use so much of that as overrode the cheese. I'm cool with that though. Not bad, Chuck. It's now, more of a savory, Chuck. It is, but I couldn't eat a lot of them. No, it gets stuck on. As you can see, I'm somebody who could put something down. <laughs> that one, I, I probably wouldn't get very far before I put yeah, it back. Tired of it. Got tired of it. I mean, I love basil. I really do. But that's literally like eating it out of the jar. Right. Eating it out of the container. <laughs> no, I don't want to keep that one. That was uh, the green. Mm -hmm. All right, these are That was the okay. Let's, let's move on. Sea salt and vinegar. You like sea salt and vinegar. I love sea salt. I'm not a big sea salt and vinegar fan. Unless it's got a good salt base. Let's see if old Andy's got it right. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay. So, oh, let me tell you the uh, the calories for the sea salt or the basil cheese ones were uh, 150 for 28 grams, approximately 20 chips. Approximately 20 chips. So they've got it down to a science. Same here, 150. 150. Mm -hmm. Those are good. Good amount of salt, not too much vinegar. I like those. I taste nothing. No taste in Mm-hmm. I mean, very little vinegar, very little salt. No, I get a salt. And I also get the greasiness, mm -hmm. which makes it better. I like the, I would eat those. I don't think I'd eat the, the basil ones, but I like those. So you're gonna keep those snack on those? Right I would there. snack on those, okay. yeah. Me, not so much. I like them just because they're not super strong vinegar. I like vinegar, salt and vinegar, but I don't like them when they're overpowering vinegar. Now, I'm looking forward to the ham. This one's interesting. Sam. 150 calories and once again, let's just go ahead and look. They're 150 all the way around. For the thing that counts as well? Yep. Uh, well, I saw 28 on this one. I did not look here. Uh, count 20. That's not bad. Ham. Right. Look at these meat flavors. Now, these have taken a turn. They're a little bigger. Oh, yeah, they are bigger. These other countries, they got it right. They like me. I like they left the skins on. That tastes like something. Most people, I would agree, like the skins on the chip. I like skins. So on why chip. waste the effort killing them? No. Those are good chips, but I wouldn't say ham. Would you say, would you say a ham? Yes, the really? aftertaste is a jelly ham. I just don't get that. I get a flavor there, I just can't identify it as a ham. Not while you're eating it. Yeah. While you're eating it, it's just a very odd chip. Oops. When you're done, I'm like licking the roof of my mouth and it's ham. <laughs> licking the roof of your mouth. I'm like a dog. <laughs> Um, I, just I just don't get it. It's a different flavor, and it definitely tastes different than a regular. You're trying to clean out your mouth, you don't even know. It just does it. 
I like it. I do. Would I choose it off the shelf? Probably not. But I do like it. Let's go. All right. Now I've been looking forward to this one. Mustard. I like. I don't like regular yellow mustard, but almost every other kind of mustard, like a dark mustard, every other kind of mustard, I like. It's not like a vinegary kind of smell. No, right, I'm already kind of sort of let down. <laughs> not flavor? No, 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 salt. And what's there is a very, it's like a yellow mustard. Mm -hmm. It's a very, very light, light, light mustard flavor. Super light. Now the bio just now took how a lot of mustard on it. I mean, so many chips are a lot darker than others. Mm -hmm. That's literally, if you take a, I mean, the flavor is super, super light. But the flavor that's there is like, um, if you took a potato chip and dipped it in yellow mustard. Yeah, that's, that's what exactly. it's like. But, but not like strong. You you get more flavor dipping it. Oh yeah, a hundred mm -hmm. times more flavor. Well, out of these, I like the sea salt and vinegar ones. I eat the basil. And Andrew likes the basil. And all out those, of all of them. Although, I like that one. Is it something I would go back to and buy again? Probably not. There's, so there's another company that makes a better. Season. Yeah, I would. Probably a hundred companies that make them better. But th these are okay. But they're not one I would spend my few dollars on. I'd spend it on something else, some other brand. So you there agree? you have it. I agree, hundred <laughs> percent. So hope you enjoyed this video, and thanks for watching.